After I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes about six or seven years ago, I was able to manage my condition through careful dieting. This worked fine for me for a long time. But I must admit it's sometimes difficult to know if what you are doing is keeping your illness properly in check. Then, just over a year ago, I suffered a reasonably major heart attack. Major enough to give my husband and I a serious fright. Thankfully, after surgery and a long stay in hospital, I was eventually sent home to try and live as normal a life as possible. However, that wasn't always easy. Not when you half expect the same thing to happen again, at any time. The chronic disease challenge is massive. It's as if we're on the bridge of the Titanic heading for the iceberg. Unless you make some fundamental changes, it's all going to go horribly wrong. We've got real issues with obesity and diabetes. Uh, we've got all the cardiovascular problems with angina, the heart disease ones and stroke, of course. And we've got chronic respiratory disease. So there's a massive challenges that we've got to be navigated really carefully. After I was diagnosed with coronary artery disease, my life was completely changed. I was extremely apprehensive about my health and well-being. I couldn't do anything or go anywhere. I was even wary about playing too actively with our grandchildren in case it made me ill and I suffered another attack. I also had to attend regular checkups with my GP and also at the heart clinic, which happens to be almost three hours away. It took a whole day, waiting around, being poked and assessed. The whole thing left me utterly exhausted. Basically, I was a nervous wreck. My husband bought me a blood pressure meter from the local pharmacy. But the readings it was showing really didn't mean much to me and just made me confused and even more anxious about my health. Well, the NHS is really feeling this because there are demands both in primary care in secondary care in the hospitals and more admissions, but all this chronic disease needs regular monitoring and so the resource demands is immense and growing all the time. When I first heard about SmartMed from a friend, I thought I'd give it a try. I had nothing to lose. My GP told me it might help reduce my anxiety about my heart condition. It enables me to take several vital signs readings, such as blood pressure, blood sugar, my weight and my pulse rate. It doesn't matter if these readings mean little to me, because they're all being back to the clinic over the internet, and someone who knows what it all means checks them on my behalf. It's essentially like having your own private doctor on hand to keep an eye on you, without having to leave the house. Setting up the monitoring device couldn't have been easier. My community nurse came round and set it up for me and showed me how it worked. But to be perfectly honest, it was so easy to use, I could have worked it out for myself. She showed me how to use the monitoring devices like the blood pressure meter and the glucometer and how to take the readings from them on the device and send them off to the clinic so they can check everything is all right. Within minutes, I was set up and ready to go. Illnesses are essentially the patient's problem, and it's really crucial that we involve them in looking after it. It's not good enough for doctors to be telling patients and health professionals to be instructing them on what to do. They need to feel really involved in their health if we're going to get the best results. And I think the, the technology now where patients are actually taking their own results, taking their own observations, and then using mobile technology to feed them back is really good because they are empowered and very much involved. Each day I have to take a series of readings, usually in the morning. For my heart problems, I need to take my blood pressure, pulse rate and blood oxygen levels. I also take my glucose levels because of the diabetes. I rarely forget to do my tests, but if I do, my phone beeps at me and reminds me. <laughs> it's like having your own little medic keeping an eye on you. When I'm ready, all I have to do is put my finger in there and it turns on and lights up on its own. I then press a couple of buttons on the phone like this. After a few seconds, I get a blood oxygen reading on here and the same thing pops up on the monitor there. And then I just 
confirm the reading. That's it. I then do the same with my blood pressure meter. I then take a blood sample with my glucometer. It's only a pinprick, and I only need a tiny drop of blood. So after a few goes, you get used to it. If I want to, I can look at my own readings to check that I'm hitting the targets the nurse set for me. And that helps me with my diet and exercise and other things. I prefer to leave that to the experts, though. That's what they're best at. I think one of the key things any telehealth solution has to provide is real simplicity for the user. We've got to make sure that the whole range of people who will be using this, there's a lowest common denominator, it's got to be simple. The other thing is it's got to be able to, the communication between the healthcare provider and the patient has got to be seamless and simple and continual. So that gives the patient confidence that they've got their continual monitoring um, and that works really well for both parties. Janet was very upset about her condition and it was making her more ill and affecting the loved ones around her. SmartMed has given her a sense of control and empowerment. It has given her the confidence to get involved and proactively manage her health and well-being. Patients readings like Janet's come through to the clinic on the SmartMed web portal. Using the data, we can check how the patients are progressing and if there is any danger signs that need intervention, like maybe a phone call at home to check if they're okay, or a home visit or maybe an appointment to the clinic for further investigations. Before SmartMed came along, we would have to wait for the next clinic visit to check how the patient's condition was being managed, or for the patient to get ill and have to visit the GP. That was often too late, but with this system we can make interventions much more quickly and effectively, and we can focus on making more regular home visits to patients that are in most need. Also, because clinical interventions are more timely, we can reduce the pressure on hospitals and clinics with fewer inpatient and outpatient admissions and when patients do undergo surgery or major treatment, we can release them to their home quickly, knowing that we can keep an eye on them and an eye on their recovery through SmartMed. We created SmartMed because we wanted to help healthcare providers around the world hit the challenge they're facing through the rising chronic illness head on. For example, in the UK, 32% of men um, have high blood pressure. In 2013 in the UK, there were 157,000 new cases of chronic heart disease. With the rise in the availability of mobile technology and applications such as SmartMed, anyone everywhere has the same level of access to quality healthcare wherever they are.